If you'd like a description of what you're watching, click here. If you'd like to link to the blog posts, click here. So if you know me at all, you know that I'm pretty interested in superheroes. And uh, I think Tony Stark as Iron Man is one of the most interesting superheroes. He's in the same kind of vein as Batman is, in that he has no superpowers, uh, yet he is a superhero of sorts. But I think what's most interesting about Tony Stark is that he was the bad guy for a long time. He was the sort of guy that profited from making weapons and from blowing things up. One of my favorite parts of the movie, Iron Man, uh, in which Tony Stark is portrayed by Robert Downey Jr., is where Tony Stark is actually nearly killed by his own weapons and he kind of realizes that uh, he's in a system that's really twisted and it's really messed up. He said, uh, I saw young men killed by the very weapons I'd created to protect them and I saw that I had become a part of a system that had become comfortable with zero accountability. I came to realize that I have more to offer this world than just making things that blow up. I wonder what kind of paradigm shift it's going to take for humans to not want to profit from that kind of thing. We live in a society where we like movies where things blow up. We like action movies. We like movies like Iron Man where things blow up. We don't realize that there's a whole world out there of people and of things that just thrive on blowing stuff up and on killing humans and on destroying living beings. There are just whole worlds that thrive on destruction and people that benefit from the purchase of things that cause destruction. It's going to take a big shift for this world to come to a point where people no longer want to benefit from that kind of destruction. And people are going to argue that it's never going to be possible when you have evil people in this world who are always trying to blow things up. And that's not quite what I'm talking about. I'm talking about people who supply weapons to the military. There are people who have contracts to make bigger, better guns, bigger, better bombs, tanks. Uh, there's a huge industry for these types of things. And I wonder what it's going to take when, when we come to the point where we're not willing to make a profit from destruction. But it's going to take people like, you know, the commoners, the ones who aren't holding the guns, the ones who aren't shooting the bombs, and the ones who aren't driving the tanks to initiate that paradigm shift. Because the people that are in power right now driving the tanks and shooting the bombs those aren't going to be the people that are going to give it up because they're not willingly going to give up the profits that they make uh, manufacturing weapons of destruction simply to see some kind of better world. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'd really like to hear some of your uh, thoughts and suggestions. Also, don't forget to hop on over to the blog post and read what I have to say over there. See you tomorrow. <laughs>